In general, Reshe can be found at the link reshe.me, but since it's subject to change potentially, I'll keep it updated in the description below. But basically, we'll just press download, and it doesn't matter what drive you download it to. All you'll do is you'll locate your escape from Tarkov.exe, open it, press open.gl, overwrite if you already have Reshade installed. Leaving all of the potential mods selected, just go ahead and press OK, and then Reshade will be successfully installed. So I loaded up a rainy map real quick just to show you guys what the game looks like without any reshade factors on at all. But the moment we start turning on stuff like colorfulness and technicolor too, you start seeing the color more and everything looks a lot less dark. And a third option too is something called adaptive sharpen. Now as you can see right now the trees and the rocks in the background are hella blurry because of the bad weather effects. But the moment we start turning on adaptive sharpen, everything becomes a lot sharper and the blurriness just gets deleted from the game. This is what the game looks like without any reshade effects on whatsoever. As you can see, my friend Shaw is very hard to see. The moment we start adding effects such as colorfulness and technicolor too, we can easily see Shaw against the back frame of the wood and against the grass. Also, when he is in a bush, we're gonna just pretend he is, he's very easy to see. Now. <laughs> When we start adding different things, such as Adaptive Sharpen, we start seeing that the highlights and the outlines are actually even easier to see. That blood, for example, perfect. Now with Clarity, it also just adds a little bit more lighting effect. Now without Adaptive Sharpen, you can see it doesn't really do much, but with it on, it just highlights characters very well. So this is loading in again into a Shoreland map without any reshade filters on, and let's try and play the game of Find the PMC. Did you see him? He was right there. And the moment we start turning on stuff, such as, again, colorfulness and technicolor too, we don't actually see him that well. As you can see, the brightness kind of hides him a little bit. That's why I always advocate for adaptive sharpen and clarity. It just makes him stand out way more. It darkens his inner silhouette, where it highlights his actual frame. Alright, so if you only have colorfulness on, you can use this meter to drag from black and white all the way to super colorful. But I advocate leaving it at the preset point four, just for personal preference, and I don't like very cartoony Fortnite feeling games. And this one, on the other hand, is more like a, a slight sharpen enhance effect. So from all the way down, it gives shadows a little bit more contrast, but all the way up, you start to see more clarity through things like leaves and foliage. Okay, with only Technicolor 2 on, you can use this meter to drag from lower brightness to a higher brightness. In general, I advocate for just bringing it all the way to the bottom. When things get further away from you, the brightness, in my opinion, can just start to blind you a little bit and kind of hide the player. So as you can see, when we bring the brightness all the way to the top, hides them all the way to bottom, good. With brightness at 0.5, we can drag saturation from 0 all the way to 1.5, but 1 seems to be generally the stronger bet. And similarly with strength, anything away from 1 has real no positive impact on being able to see other players. The only thing important in the Adaptive Sharpen tab is the sharpening strength, but I generally just again advocate for leaving it alone, but up to personal preference. Under the Clarity tab, there's a lot of stuff you can mess around with to your personal preference, but Again, I just advocate for leaving it alone, unless you want to get very technical with how your screen looks. In another short video, I'll address certain reshade topics such as nighttime and night vision effects, and then I will also show each map side by side, with reshade both on and off to show their differences. In the meantime, subscribe for more future content, and always make sure to follow the stream to catch me live. Thanks!